Hey there, I am Michael Ostro, and we are gonna talk about increasing your opportunities. I can go in my background. I'm not really sure if that's important. If you're interested in that, <laughs> ask me. Uh, I just won't spend too much time on it. I'm just gonna jump right into the lesson on increasing your opportunities. If you're watching this, maybe you're a friend or a family member, or you're searching for this to increase your opportunities in life right now. So we're just gonna jump in and talk about it. Hopefully it can be helpful to you. So the very first thing we're gonna talk about is opportunity. What is it? This is a definition from Oxford Dictionary. It is a set of circumstances that makes it possible to do something. It's kind of you know, an open statement, right? You, you want to do something, maybe you can, maybe you can't. How do you get the opportunity to do that thing? Or maybe there's some stuff you're unsure that you would want to do and by giving yourself opportunities, you'd be able to do that. I'll give you some examples of that because it kind of sounds, you know, far-fetched or in the air. So let's just say you want a girlfriend. You don't have one right now. Well, if you did certain things, they could increase your opportunity to get a girlfriend. Now let's say you weren't thinking about having a girlfriend, but you were out and about doing things and you met someone who really took your heart away and you ended up having a girlfriend. Well, it's not something you exactly wanted, you weren't searching for it, but an opportunity arose and you took it. And so an opportunity is something that's out there that can hopefully make your life better or improve your life. And we're gonna talk about how to get those. So that's the first thing, an opportunity is something out there, some set of circumstances that can lead to something else. So how do you actually get an opportunity? And we have some more examples down here. So we have new friends, girlfriend, wife, maybe you wanna start a business. These are just some examples. So there's gonna be endless possibilities of opportunities. So how do you actually get an opportunity? If we're gonna to stick to the girlfriend, how do you actually get a girlfriend, okay? <laughs> you can make a whole entire video on that. This is not the video of how do you charm a girl and win her over? but there's many things you can do to increase your opportunity to get a girlfriend. One of them could be you haven't showered for three days, you kind of smell, and showering, cleaning yourself up, would increase your opportunities so that you could get that girl if you're going out. Now, another opportunity to increase your chances of meeting a girl would be going out of the house. You know, you're actually doing something different than what you normally do. And so I'm, I'm gonna draw this just to help you understand that concept a little bit. We have two people right here. Actually, this is the same person. This is uh, Jimmy Bob, and this is also Jimmy Bob. I'm, I'm known for creating very uh, good, unique names. So Jimmy Bob, Jimmy Bob, great. I'm so glad to see you, Jimmy Bob. And so red circles, and I'll get down to this later, but red circles are gonna be opportunities. So. Jimmy Bob stays inside his house. One of the benefits of being in the internet age is that when you stay inside your house, you can actually online find new business opportunities. You could get on one of those dating apps and meet someone online. So you're staying in, inside your house, and you actually have opportunities. So you're increasing your opportunities, right? Now, if you just sat inside and watched TV all day and you, play video games all day, or read, or whatever you did, and you're not actually going, like speaking out into the world or putting out things on the internet, then you're not really increasing opportunities at that moment. Like If you're reading and studying a subject that you might use later, that could be increasing opportunities. So these are the things doing inside that it could increase your opportunities. Studying a language um, could increase your opportunities for traveling the world. Studying business, increase your opportunities in the workplace. But there's also all these online factors too nowadays. And so if, uh, you know, Jimmy Bob decided he wanted to go, actually, I'm gonna make this someone different. Let's make, let's use a unique name. What's a, what's a unique name? Jimmy John, okay. So let's say Jimmy John decided he wanted to go out of the house. Now, in the world outside of technology, there are all these opportunities already there. 
right? If we're talking about, you know, uh, Jimmy Bob trying to find a girlfriend, well, he's using all these apps. Yeah, there's opportunities there, but he's really limited into just who's on those apps. And it's hard to know if those people actually want a girlfriend, like if they're actually looking for a boyfriend or they're just looking for a friend or someone to buy the meals. And we have Jimmy John here who decides he wants to go out and there's all these potential people to date out there. So more than that, you know, if we're talking about other things in the world, there is friends to make. There are business people that might want to partner with you in business. Unlimited opportunities in the world. And so if you go out, you have those opportunities. Also, a plus is you have all these opportunities in here too. Whoa, it's like magic, right? Okay, so you, got, you doubled your opportunities just by leaving the house. And so the more you leave the house, the more you increase your opportunities. Simple example of just leaving the house and how that increases opportunities. Um, you know, you could just leave the house and go on a mission to go do that one thing and then get back home into your environment. You're, you're very much limiting your opportunities. The more time you spend outside of the house, the more increased your opportunities are. If you're sitting at a coffee shop and you're not like focused on work and you know, not talking anywhere else, if you're at a coffee shop and you're talking to people and you're being nice, whoa, drastically increases your opportunities. So let's move down here, and we got a person all the way down in the corner. And this is uh, Jeffrey. Why all the J names? Because that's where my mind's at right now. So we got Jeffrey down here, and Jeffrey is moving across his life, okay? This whole dotted line is his life. We don't know when it's going to end, right? It's going to keep going. I don't know. He doesn't know. Nobody knows, right? Maybe somebody knows. Who knows? But he's going to keep going through his life. And these circles are opportunities. So I have the examples down here. And as he's going through life, he can go to school. So school is an opportunity for a lot of things. To meet people, make friends, learn information. So then he learns. Maybe this also leads him to get a job and friends. So each one of these are opportunities. A friend is an opportunity. But you don't know what can come out of that friendship. Maybe that friendship leads to a girlfriend. GF, girlfriend. And maybe that girlfriend leads to a wife. This is an opportunity. It's not to say that it could, it will happen, but it is possible to happen. Opportunity. All these other things are opportunities as well. Could be different friends. Could be business partners. It's hard to know what will show up, but the more you put yourself out there, the more opportunities you'll get. And so this is what it looks like maybe through his life, if he's going through a life of going into the office, making some friends, and having his life. And maybe at some point it stops. Like a lot of people will end up having a partner and having a life, and it's just at home. That's totally fine. To each their own, you can do whatever you want. You're watching this video, so maybe you want more opportunities. So to do that and increase opportunities, you don't know what could happen. By getting out of the house, you could have all these opportunities arise. Infinite. And you might lead to one opportunity. This friend might introduce you to another friend, and you meet them. You don't like them. That's fine. That's just an opportunity. Move over to another one. Another person that could be a friend. You think they're fantastic. You're like, this person is amazing. How did I never meet this person before? Where have you been my whole life? Well, you wouldn't have known that if this friend didn't lead you to this friend. Also, a friend could lead you to if you didn't have a girlfriend. Okay, this is if you don't have a girlfriend. If you already got one, stay there. You know, you can meet other people through it. But if you don't have a girlfriend, maybe that friend introduces you to a girlfriend which could be a future wife, All right? These are for relationships. Relationships is easy for me to talk about, but you don't know because if, if you have a friend could invite, invite, uh, introduce you to that business partner, I'm getting like overly excited about this. I think this is such an important concept because 
if you get out of the house and you meet people and you do things, then opportunities arise and you have no idea what kind of opportunity could arise. And it could absolutely change your life. You could travel the world. I, honestly, you really could. You could meet the right person and just like connect so deeply. You're like, you know what? I will travel to whatever country you want to travel to because I want to do that with you. I think you're great. You could meet somebody who you think is incredibly smart and business savvy and you want to connect with them and go into business with them. You could meet someone who you deeply connect with. Who you're like, I want this friendship to last forever. You want to go for a co you want to go meet for coffee? Like you want to hang out? You could decide you want to learn a new language just because someone else is learning that language and you're fascinated with it. Or maybe you're already watching all this content like Korean dramas or Japanese anime and you're like, I'm going to try to learn the language. Let's use that one for example. You love Japanese anime, you decide you want to learn the language, you go to class. You get out of the house and go to class. You can learn on your own, that's fine. You go to class and you make a friend in class. And this friend is so smart and excited to learn too. So you end up studying together, then you get out of the house more. Then you start going to coffee shops and you make friends with the baristas. And the baristas are like, here's a free coffee on me, just take it. Why not, right? Like anything could happen. This is an opportunity. And so you take that free coffee, you're drinking it. Everyone in the coffee shop knows you because you're getting out, you're doing things, and you're hanging out with your friend and you're studying, you're smiling a lot. And then, you're, and then your friend introduces you to some other people. I'm, I don't know where this goes because I already talked about a girlfriend a lot. Because if you don't have one, <laughs> then you could have one, whatever it may be. Boyfriend, whatever you're looking for. But these opportunities keep arising. And then the more you have, the more it goes up. And then you have all these opportunities around you constantly. So let's just say we have Jeffrey down here and he could move his life down here and, and stay next to this flat surface, which we call like limited opportunities. This is going into work, coming back home, going into work, coming back home, going grocery shopping, coming back home go out to buy that one thing, come back home. You're not, you're not doing too much. So you only have these limited opportunities around you. Like the person at the grocery store that could talk to you for a limited time. Um, and you go to work and maybe you, the, the people that are at work could talk to you and you can make friends with them. You're, you're really limited opportunity. So you're saying, you know, really down here the entire time. But if Jeffrey decides instead to go out and make friends, get the girlfriend, uh, meet a business partner, then Jeffrey can move himself all the way up here. Any, any time in life this can change. Like, just because he was here doesn't mean he can't move up here. Like, the more you get out, the more opportunities arise. And it's, it's drastic, it's compounding. All these opportunities will start showing up because one will lead to another and to another. And I can make this chart just look crazy, but they're just infinite. Everything opens up by getting out and doing things and trying to meet people and don't set yourself up to only get out and go do that one thing. You're not just going to the grocery store to get that thing accomplished. Set days, set times to go do things and be out in the world. If you stay in, you have a lot of opportunities in today's day and age. Get online, apply for new jobs. If you don't like your job, apply somewhere else, intern somewhere if you want to really learn that information. Whatever you want to do, you can do it inside. Especially if you're handicapped and you can't get outside. You don't have to just stay inside. And in fact, if you are handicapped, there's probably a lot of ways that you can get out if you decide to and search for things. But you could get out into the world and have so many more opportunities, drastically more opportunities. And it all starts with thinking, what you want to do, go do that activity and be very relaxed around it. And the more you get out and do that, especially if you go to the same place commonly, you'll end up like meeting people. If you keep saying hi and you keep having a smile on your face, you'll keep meeting people. And then your opportunities will start to increase here drastically. So if there was something that you thought about wanting in life, if there's something you still want in life, you can have it. If you're not really sure what you want or where you really want to end up in life, that's okay. The more opportunities you give you, the more choices you'll have of the things you want to do in life. So get out. You'll have all these opportunities. I think Jeffrey will be happy with whatever life he chooses. Let's say that. 
And if he chooses to give himself a tremendous amount of opportunities, he would be extraordinarily happy with life. If he chooses to give himself a limited opportunities, maybe he's okay with it. He's, he's choosing that. But if he's not choosing it, let's just say he's not choosing it, and he's only going to work and coming home and taking care of uh, his wife because she demands it and he's not be able to do anything, then like he's pretty limited on this, right? Maybe a conversation with his wife would open up an opportunity to say, okay, one day a week he gets to go to coffee shops, gets to go to a book club or something like that. You know, whatever it is, if you're searching for the opportunity, you might be able to find it. And so if Jeffrey searches for opportunities, he will have unlimited opportunities. That goes for the same for you. The more you search for them, the more opportunities can show up in your life. And they only compound, they only grow. Just to recap, opportunity, what is it? A set of circumstances that leads to something, something special, it makes something possible. How to get them? Well, you gotta do anything, just do something, really. As long as you're connecting with some other human. Actually, in fact, it wouldn't if you're just studying a language. That increases your opportunities drastically. So study, go out in the world, whatever you wanna do. It's just a little bit different than watching TV or something like scrolling social media constantly where that's very, that's like the lowest level of opportunity you could possibly have. Because all you're doing is consuming content without anything actually going out there, or, you know, trying to do anything. You're just consuming. So the, that's the lowest possible opportunities that can happen. Uh, and then how to increase your opportunities went over a bunch of ways to increase your opportunities. One of them is get out of the house. Another one of them, don't set something that you have to do and then have to get back home. Allow yourself to have some freedom when you're out of the house. If you're doing it at home, right, study. Or get online. If, if you want to use a, a dating app to meet someone, that's okay if that's your preference. And then go out <laughs> into the world and meet them. Um, if you have a spouse and you want to end up doing more stuff or make more friends, Go out in the world with them, with that opportunity. Maybe it's something like going to church, which I know a lot of people are in relationships and they go to church. Maybe that's an opportunity. Or maybe it's joining a book club together. Whatever it may be, that, the stuff that you're interested in. If you're interested in it, go do it. Or uh, like me, I'm interested in language. Go study a language. You'll make friends in the class. Classes are absolutely great ways to meet people. And the more you do it, the more opportunities will arise. You go to that class because you want to learn. Learning will give you more opportunities in life. You meet a friend, and that friend is incredible, and then you end up really connected with him, and then from them you make more friends, then you get invited to dinners, and it grows and grows and grows. That's it for this video. I hope this is helpful. I hope you're able to increase some of your opportunities. If you do increase some of your opportunities or you get something from this video, let me know. That would be awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye.